am Dr. Rashmi Chavla and uh, again I have come up with a very important topic related to cost management accounting. Today we will be doing the fundamentals of cost, basically the cost concepts, cost center, cost object, cost drivers and responsibility centers and also we will be discussing about the elements of cost. So let's discuss. So what are the fundamentals of cost? What are the cost concepts and elements of cost? First of all, before starting, we'll do what is the definition of cost? What is cost referred to as? The cost is referred to the amount of expenditure which is which can be actual, which can be notional, incurred on or attributable to a given thing. However, an exact definition of the term cost is difficult as its interpretation depends upon the nature of the business or industry and the context in which it is used. For example, the cost of a product can be calculated excluding packaging expenses if the same are nominal in amount. Example, so far, while this treatment of exclusion of cost will not be feasible in case the nature of the product requires heavy packaging cost, example, perfumes. The cost can also be considered as monetary valuation of effort, risk involved, opportunity foregone in production and delivery of a good or service, and most importantly, resources like time, material and utilities. It is also imperative to remember that all expenses are costs, but not all costs, especially the ones which are incurred in the acquisition of an income generating asset are expenses. So this was all about cost. We studied that cost can be notional, it can be actual, but it should be attributable to a particular thing. It is the actual expenditure which is incurred on a particular thing. Next we are coming. Now the next important concept which is related to cost is the cost object. The cost object is defined as anything for which a separate measurement of cost is desired. It may be a product, a service, a project, a customer, a brand category, an activity, department or a program and or any other thing. So it may be defined as anything for which the cost is to be measured. We have given various examples for understanding what is cost object. Like in case of product if we see, it can be a desktop, it can be laptop, it can be television. If we talk about the service, like it can be airfare from Jaipur to Bangalore. Service can be anything, like it can be repairing uh, your laptop. Project can be construction of roads, dams, construction of buildings. When we talk about department, it may be HR department of a company, it may be accounts department. Activity, activity can be like filling tenders, quotations, placing orders. And when we talk about process, process generally refers to the process in manufacturing, that is assembling of parts in a process or refining the crude oil. So these were the examples of the cost objects. Next terminology related the cost we will study is the cost driver. The Chartered Institute of Management Accountants defines cost driver as an activity which generates cost. So what is a cost driver? It is the driving force between the, behind generating cost. A cost driver triggers a change in the cost of an activity and is generally used to assign overhead costs to the number of produced units. That means if we incur the cost, then what is the driving force between the incurrence of that cost? And we need to allocate those costs to particular units. An activity can have more than one cost driver attached to it. For example, a production activity may have a machine, machine operator, floor space occupied, power consumed as the associated cost drivers. See, we have given various examples of cost drivers like machine setups, purchase orders, quality inspections, production orders, shipments, maintenance requests, 
are consumed kilometers driven projects or machine hours advertisement or sales value volume product hours this was all about the cost driver next we come to cost units what are cost units See, the chartered institute of management accountants london defines a unit of cost as unit of quantity of product service or time in relation to which cost may be ascertained or expressed the preparation of cost accounts requires selection of a unit for identification of expenditure the quantity upon which cost can be conveniently allocated is known as cost unit for example in case of electricity companies cost unit will be per unit of electricity generated and in case of transport companies it will be per passenger kilometer or per ton kilometer the forms of measurement used as cost units are usually the units of physical measurements like number weight area length value time etc the following are some of the examples of cost units See, what are the units given in case of automobile we use the numbers brick works per 1000 bricks cement per ton for chemicals we use the cost unit basis as liter gallon kilogram ton for steel it is ton sugar we use ton transport passenger kilometer ton kilometer so these were basically what we call as cost unit then some of the examples of cost units i have mentioned over here see i have made a table wherein the cost units have been given as per the nature of the industry or the organization i have made three tables over here three columns over here uh, like first one is the name of the industry or organization then is the product and then is the cost unit like for the brick industry if we say bricks are the product then the cost unit will be per 1000 bricks for power industry electricity is the product and it will be cost unit will be per kilowatt hour so likewise various industries products and cost units have been defined in this slide you can have a look at these next cost center what is a cost center according to chartered institute of management accountants london cost center means a location person or item of equipment or group of these for which costs may be ascertained and used for the purpose of cost control it can be a department or a sub department or an item of equipment or machinery or a group of persons so cost center is the smallest organizational sub unit for which separate cost collection is attempted this cost center refers to one of the convenient unit into which the whole factory organization has been appropriately divided for costing purposes each such unit consists of a department or a sub department or an item of equipment or machinery or a person or a group of persons for example although an assembly department may be supervised by one foreman it may contain several assembly lines sometimes each assembly line is regarded as a separate cost center which its own assistant foreman cost center facilitates fixation of responsibility for every officer in charge of the department or section hence cost center can also be termed as a responsibility center so this was all about cost center next we come to types of cost center see when we talk about cost centers cost centers can generally be divided into three types the first one is operation and cost center the second one is production and service cost center the third one is personal and impersonal cost center so let us discuss it briefly so what is operation and process cost center operation cost center consists of those machines which carry out the same operation and what is a process cost center a process cost center is a cost center in which a specific process or a continuous process of operations is carried out next when we come to production and service cost center the production center cost center is one where actual production process is carried out the manufacturing and non manufacturing costs are charged to production cost center a service cost center is one which provides services to other cost centers only non manufacturing costs are charged to service cost center in the third classification we come to personal and impersonal cost center 
See, personal cost center consists of a person or a group of persons. Personal cost center follows the organizational structure of a factory or organization. Under this type of cost center, costs are analyzed and accumulated according to, say, factory manager, sales manager, storekeeper, etc. Impersonal cost center consists of a location of equipment. A cost center relating to location may represent an area of sales, warehouse. So cost center relating to an item of equipment could be a machine or group of machines. So we studied about the cost centers, the different types of cost centers. Next we will deal about cost. So what are the elements of cost. Briefly, we will be discussing about there are main three elements of cost. One is material, labor and expenses and they are subclassified into direct and indirect expenses. So, we will be discussing in details about the elements of cost in our next video. Till then, thank you so much.